Are you ready to knit some dog sweaters and West Knitsify all your cute little pups? These sweaters could be used for little kitties too if they tolerate a sweater, but I'm releasing six patterns for dogs, West Knits Pet Knits, and they're all these top-down, adorable little seamless cozy sweaters for your canine companion. So I'm gonna release this as an ebook and uh, it'll roll out throughout the spring and summer. So you're gonna get six patterns and when you sign up for the ebook, you'll get the first striped pup sweater. Brioche, you gonna show off your stripes? What colors? Oh, he loves royal blue. And we paired royal blue with what? Lavender. Yes, we love blue and lavender together. So this is the striped pup sweater. It's completely seamless, knit from the collar down to the little tushy. There's short row butt shaping to curve around the contour edges of your dog's tushy. And I'm just so happy with the shape and construction and it's really easy to customize. So I designed this sweater for nine sizes as the base sizes, and there's lots of customization notes in the pattern to custom uh, get the custom lengths for the yoke and the body, because dogs come in all shapes and sizes. Mine are really like tanks, really chunky in the chest, but some are more slender. So I give you lots of tips on how to add extra yoke increases, but it all begins with this striped pup sweater. You're just so content, aren't you, Brioche? And uh, it has these increases in the back of the neck, so it makes it longer along the back and shorter along the belly, right? Because we don't want to get pee pee on our stitches, do we? No, then I have to wash it so much. So they're like really contoured to the dog's form, and I'm just so happy with the style, and they just add more color to our lives. What, what dog doesn't need a hand knit sweater? So the striped pup sweater is the first one. And then there's gonna be a marled sweater in the collection. There's gonna be a brioche sweater named after my brioche pup in the sweater in the collection. And there's gonna be some Dustland sweater. If you knit the Dustland sweater, you can make a matching one for your pup. And we're, there's gonna be a ribbed one, and there's a bubble, a bubble sweater, a bubble pup sweater. So six sweaters total. There'll all be these surprise updates throughout the spring and summer. But sign up for the ebook now. You'll get the ebook for 20 euros, and uh, that's for all six patterns. So you get about like half off if you get the ebook compared to if you get the patterns all individually. And we're just gonna learn lots of fitting tips, aren't we? You're just gonna sleep, and you're gonna wake up until I knit a new sweater for you. Yeah, so I made sweaters coordinating ones for Stitch and Brioche, and I'm finding, I love, I think Stitch loves all the warm colors. So she gets lots of orange and pink and yellow and reds, and Brioche is more of a cool tone. So he gets lots of purples, blues and greens and yellows. So I knit all these coordinating pup sweaters. So it's gonna be a surprise which ones come when, but the first one is the striped pup sweater. And it starts with the neck. So when you're knitting the striped pup sweater or any of the sweaters in this ebook, the most important thing in the beginning is making sure that the neck fits around your dog's head, okay? So if your dog has a big head, make sure to choose a size of the neck that fits around its head. And you can always adjust the pattern later by adding more increases. And a lot of the patterns have optional body decreases to contour the body lines to, to, that go from thick into thinner. But yeah, they're really fun shapes and we're gonna just cover our dogs in stitches. So are you ready for all the knit sweaters, Stitch? And you're gonna see so many friends online that have matching sweaters to you. What do you think about that? She's like, when's my next sweater coming? So I hope you'll join this little ebook and we'll learn some fun tips and tricks together. And I put a lot of video links in the patterns as well so we can learn some cast on and bind off tricks, customizing those leg lengths and making little perfectly proportioned pet knits for our pooches. How about that? So West Knits Pet Knits 1 is on westknits.com and Ravelry. I hope you'll join along and we can share all our photos on Instagram and on Ravelry. So we're gonna have a really fun time knitting those West Knits Pet Knits. Aren't we brioche? He's asleep. So I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoy this new series of West Knits. We're going into the pet world. What's gonna come next?